You're right guys, Gary aka okay, Hope was back again. In this video I am trying to get myself back into a recording schedule, so uh, I figured it's probably about time I tried to clear off some of the stuff I've got on my desk. And the first thing I grabbed was this Cat Druid from the uh, Cats of Crompton Kickstarter that I uh, got last year and I'm still working my way through slowly, so uh, yeah, let's do this. As a slight change, I use Vallejo's German Panzer Grey Surface Primer with a Liquitex uh, Titanium White for the uh, Xenophil highlighting. And then, uh, carry it on. I use Citadel's Contrast Wildwood for the wooden staff, uh, the uh, little plant in his hand and his antlers. Because I like it. And there was a little vine going down his back, which uh, I did brown as well. The tunic was nice and simple, I used Instar Alpha's Forest Green. And for the fur I went back to contrast and used Griffhound Orange, uh, just for some reason I thought this druid would look good as a uh, good old ginger tomcat. Still not, uh, not sure I made the right decision on there, but you know, we'll see how it goes. Corax white for the tip of the tail and a few other details. I uh, wanted to try and bring out some of the, the leaves on his uh, collar a bit brighter. End result. Um, I do make a massive mistake in a bit, but I think I, I got around that eventually. Back to the contrast, I use Saigor Brown for the leaves around uh, his neck, and for some reason I thought that the white leaves that I'd painted would make him stand out a bit more. Might break up the uh, solid brownness. That did not work out too well. And then back to Instar Alpha's Acid Green. Uh, with this I painted the plant that's in his hand and a few leaves around his neck. Again, it's just breaking, breaking up the colour. It was slightly over thin, so I did two coats in the end. Back to contrast, and we used Magos Purple for the inside of his ears and his, uh, his, his little tiny nose. I like Magos Purple, it's not too strong, it's not too... well... Actually no, it is a, it is a weak purple, which is why I think I quite like it for details on uh, fleshy areas. Going over to Instar Alpha Pure Yellow for the eyes. Uh, you may notice in the rest of the video that the eyes might change slightly. Uh, that's because I tried something and then realised that they looked bloody awful and then went back over them with pure yellow again, so uh, we'll just pretend I didn't say anything. While the eyes were drying, I broke out the Instar Alpha Deep Red to try and break up the uh, ruffles, the leaves, whatever you want to call them. I think it came out alright. It's not two over the top. Just remember, do not look into the eyes. Uh, I broke out the contrast snake bite leather for obviously the leather straps and the bag. And the stitching on the patches around the tunic, which I forgot to mention, I also did in deep red. And as he is a druid, uh, he's not got that many metal bits on him. So I uh, broke out the Pro Acryl Metallic Silver for his uh, bracer, gauntlet, uh, wrist guard thing. My memories kind of escaped me at the moment. So 
So this is what I call the cock-up of the day. Uh, I got some of the contrast apothecary whites and I figured that this does reasonably well on clothes and white things. So yeah, if I add that to the tip of the tail it'll look, it'll look good. And then, oh you know what, if I add this all over the model this character will look old and wise. No, what actually happens is he just looks like he's fallen into bleach. So, uh, yeah. Not, not ideal. But I figured, well, I've done it this much, might as well continue. Don't worry, I do actually fix it in a minute. That's right, we break out the Citadel Wash Agrax Earthshade and just go absolutely nuts over it. And you know what, I think it actually helped. It actually, not right now, it looks awful right now. When it dried, as you might see at the beginning of the video or the end, uh, I actually think it came out a lot better than uh, it would. And the eyes are looking nice again, so we're all good. Now, I'm going to admit, throughout the model I got really confused whether this part was actually part of his beard or just like a pelt or something he's he's found in the woods, so I painted it Space Wolves Grey. But uh, looking at the model closer now, I'm now pretty sure that that was actually his beard tucked into his uh, belt. But it's alright. It's alright. And there you go, the base was finished off with some uh, Citadel Textures Paint, the Sterling Mud, Sterland Mud, uh, some gravel that I got from Geek Gaming Scenics, and some green static grass that I got from somewhere, but because I've mixed it all into a big tub I can't remember where from. And that can scratch off another from the Cats of Crompton Kickstarter. Slowly getting there, I think I've got about five models left of the main characters. They'll get done. Eventually, this lockdown is taking its toll on everyone. Just in case you didn't know, everyone in the UK is under another lockdown. Um, but yeah, nice little cat druid. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. I am trying to work on getting my recording and painting schedules back up and going again, but obviously with everyone in the house, this is uh, a lot more difficult than it used to be. But uh, yeah. I've not abandoned the channel, I am still here, I am doing stuff on Instagram, and I am doing stuff on TikTok now as well, so uh, check those out, there'll be links down below as always. Um, let me know what you think down below in the comments, uh, if you like what you see, subscribe, drop back in for more, there's plenty of things to watch on here, and we're over 800 subscribers, which is still really weird to me. But in any case, uh, thank you so much for watching, and uh, hopefully I'll see you very soon in the next video, so until then, see ya!